The following contest is a no holds barred match and is for the Hardcore Championship. Here comes the devil's favorite demon. What's even more impressive than the amount of havoc that Kane has wreaked in WWE has been the duration. For almost two decades, Kane has destroyed everything in his path and is showing no signs of slowing down. The Big Red Monster, perhaps the most sadistic superstar to ever step foot in WWE. Driven by twisted, demonic impulses every step of the way. And here he comes. Here we go, guys. The championship is on the line here in this one. And I'll tell you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. Inescapable agony may be imminent for this superstar in his matchup against Kane. presentation for what's considered one of the most unruly titles in this entire business. The hardcore title on the line tonight, and I should add, it is not being defended under the twin. And I think we just might see. Picture perfect Falcon Arrow. I think the champ's got it. Cover. Oh, and quick resiliency from the challenger. How at this point you don't even stay down long enough for a one count is beyond comprehension. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. He's in for it now. Shot to the gut will break things up. Big boot to the gut, a clubbing forearm. Slam with authority. Driven into the barricade. And he's able to reverse. At the back of the neck, what's coming here? On oh, reverse choke slam. Face first. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Kane, uh-oh. 
Oh, boy. The choke slam. We could have a new champion. Looking for something, anything under the ring. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Kane is really taking control here. There's no stopping the big red monster. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. No, face first, snake eyes. Any chance the table will be set up for a lovely spread? Uh, never mind, that never happens. Someone is likely going through it. Oh, come on. Now, why is a stop sign even under the ring? What's he open to find down there? And come on, no. Don't bring the trash can out. That's for cleaning. Well, Saxton, it's about to be used to clean house. He's just getting thrown around out here. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. No, no. All right, dude, this is getting out of hand. And now gets tossed into the ring. I don't know what they're looking for here. And from under the apron, he says, let there be light. That's not a bat you look to hit home runs with. It's a bat you look to tear flesh off with. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, that barbed wire back to the head. What cruelty. He clearly has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Lands the trash can. That'll leave a mark. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Oh, Kane counters. There's a snapmare. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Chilling assault from the big red monster. Wait for it. Oh, oh Alabama slam. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup, rethink your plan. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that maneuver be summoned at least one more time? He catches Kane with a counter, catches the leg. Close line takes him down. Forget about it. Oof, a savage beatdown with a barbed wire bat. This one is headed outside, guys. Comes back into the ring. Ouch! Boom, what impact! Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Short clothesline! The champ has been taken to their limit. There is no way this can go on for much longer. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Uh-oh. He knew that was coming. Drop kick. Great athleticism. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. <laughs> Implanted by the DDT. How's that for a counter? Jeez. Short clothesline hits its mark. 
Oh, that light tube just shattering all over them. And he gets delivered back into the ring. And look at Kane now, perching himself up top. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. From the top, diving qualified. The devil's favorite demon walking among us and doing his work. This is a horror movie that spilled over into real life. He changed the Mick Foley into WrestleMania, and we know how that turned out. Saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Back and forth from these competitors. All the way up and down. Shot slam. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. This arena is roaring. I think the desk is shaking. Through the table with a and there's no quest for the win. Two. Title change. We have a title change. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. Talk about history in the making. This is literally one for the history books. And we got to witness it up close and personal. Stop making this about you, Saxton. This is about the new champ. They're here. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 461 pounds. The tag division has been extremely competitive as of late. Every duo looking to show why they run things around here. They are ready for battle. And their opponents at a combined weight of 430 pounds. T. Jerry and William Regal. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. Now, one team ready to go, and here come their opponents. Important match. Hey, oh. man. A blindside attack from this other duo. This could greatly affect the match if we were scheduled to see. Greatly affect the match? Are, are we even going to have a match after that attack? It's a great question, Byron. I mean, the opponents obviously still want to continue, but I'm not sure this team is in any condition to compete. I agree with you, Saxton. I don't know if this is the wisest choice they can make. They're still insisting on having the match. This is nuts. Well, there's no way you can consider this a fair fight anymore. I actually agree with you both. These attackers weren't supposed to be part of the match, but that attack might end up altering the outcome. Off into the pin. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. <laughs> Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Off 
flipping the script on him there. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. There's the heel kick. Ooh. As the arm into a hammerlock cinched in. Arm breaker. Oh. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Just going all out with every blow. And finds a counter. Just lighten up the chest. This match grinded him down a little. Took him out at the knee. Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. Neck breaker. Great reaction from Regal. The neck and the oh. gun. Oh, man, what a combination. Finds a counter for Regal. Oh, drop kick. Jarring impact. Great athleticism. And misses on the springboard. a perfectly placed target. He skirts around it. Gets him with the counter. A running set out jawbreaker. Well scattered reversal there. Corner. Beautiful. Nice somersault senton. And the fight has been taken to Regal. Regal has to find an open. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? There's a tap. Ooh, what a double team. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Vicious knee drop. Short clothesline hits its mark. Great reaction from Regal. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Into the corner now. And Regal is countered. Big time clothesline. Good grief. He may be in a bad way here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. There's not much room out there. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. He's got the answer for that one. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Vicious right forearm. Good defense. And Regal got busted up by that last attack. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Hit with the cutter. Able to reverse. Utilizing a little Penchak Salat. Buffet of strikes. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Ooh, kick 
to the face. Good night, nurse. Cover. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. He's returning fire. Boom, that'll do it. Going right after the neck, neck breaker. Few superstars have collided like this. I frankly don't know how they're still competing. Their minds and bodies devastated. I can't imagine being in this position. He's looking a little off balance. Regal gets the better there. Kick to the gut, twist of fate. Meet him at the pay window. Two, he's still in this fight. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. And he sends him into the corner. Oh my gosh! This is an incessant attack being brought to him. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back's being negated. Uh-oh. Side effect! <laughs> Caught him right in the jaw! Oh, it's coming! <laughs> Crashing down with a huge senton! This one is done! That match is worth another look. Here we go. Here are your winners. Acting so happy when they cheated to win. That attack earlier on ended up paying dividends, but the referee allowed the match to continue. I can only imagine what it feels like to lose a match under these circumstances. Imagining being a loser must come pretty naturally to you, though. That is so uncalled for. the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Oh, it's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. Retirement? What retirement? And his opponent from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 247 pounds, Terry Funk. A man who has wreaked havoc and ignited riots for decades. Uh -huh. Truly a middle-aged and crazy. Funk possesses an unbelievable affinity for destruction. And he's won championships all over the world.
This is going to be brutal. There is no area in this arena that is safe when Terry Funk's around. No one loves pain and punishment more than Terry Funk. And we'll start with Randy Orton, who really has had a legendary career. And he's better than he's ever been. Orton's still learning new things and putting it all together. That in mind for the business is what keeps him crisp and dangerous. We'll see if his opponent can rise to the challenge. No one has any idea what we're about to witness, but I can tell you, Terry Funk's not coming out of that corner looking to throw arm drags. Terry Funk is deranged and likes to hurt people. If he's not allowed to use weapons in a match, he'll just turn his body into one. Put into the corner now. Wicked clothesline. They've got their opponent's arm. Oh, vicious knee drop. The Viper able to strike back. Fist press by Randy Orton. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Breaker. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, as Orton was putting his precision to work there. Randy Orton has been at the top of the food chain in WWE for years now. Is his opponent just more prey entering the Viper's den? While Orton is still as dangerous as ever, his focus can be brought into question. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes the Viper will lose sight of his goals. If his opponents can capitalize on those moments, we'll see the Apex Predator become the prey. Funk showing no answer for this attack. Terry's not showing the capacity to fight back. Oh, face stop! Lightning fast power slam by Orton. jaw with the knee. He isn't taking this lying down anymore. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. Stiff elbow will break that up. Focusing their attack on the arm. A pry! Well, that came to an end with an abrupt punch. There he goes, right into the corner. Randy Orton showing no mercy. This devastating offense from Orton is so hard to prepare for. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Big leg drop. Avoiding contact. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Oh, and back of the elbow. Randy Orton just daring his opponent to take their best shot. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Not what you want to see by any means. Er, tearing at the face. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Big plans in mind for the Viper. He's doing a whole lot of just lift off. You gotta be kidding me. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Oh! <laughs> Measuring. Oh, face stop. Taking this one back to the ring now. The Viper taking a moment to soak it all in now. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And Terry escapes danger. Bang! Snap suplex. Funk showing no answer for this attack. And Funk needs to find an opening fast. He gets back into the ring. Orton firing up. The voices are talking to him. 
Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Measuring. Oh, face stop. He just barely dodges. Closed fist connects. Oh, and Terry got busted up there. Merciless attacks from the Viper. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. He might be able to start mounting something here. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. Pile driver. Should do it right there. His arm shot off the mat before one. How on earth could he not? Oh, this is turning into a real Donnie Brook here. This superstar's rocked, and this superstar apparently has had enough of this. Yeah, walking away. Discretion's the better part of valor. Uh, how about calling it a retreating? Whoa! Oh. No the hell? retreat. This just went from back. Ah, oh, takedown and a spinning toe hole. Fuck trying to get him to tap. Will this match end on a submission? Oh, and he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. I don't know how there is anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward on the top. Look out below! No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, put down face first. Heading back to the ring. Ooh, avoided the attack with a nasty chop block. Okay, this is just a little bit dirty. It's very effective, though. Hooked up. DDT! And here he comes, set up for the famed Orton Stomp. It's almost like Randy enjoys this. Just torturing his opponent. And Orton proved he's as lethal as ever with that. The Viper strikes RKO. That's gonna keep Funk down. Amazing! He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's gonna be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. Horton is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another way. The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars. Up high. Oh, got caught. Taken down with a body slam. Fist drop. Boom. Dodges out of the way. And all the way to the outside. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Knew what Terry had coming. Slice bread. What a counter. Power slam. German suplex. Devastating attack from the Viper. What a match. What a match. The cover! And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action.
here is your winner, Randy Orton. Some could say this loss really added insult to injury. It was enough to be disrespected earlier on, but the loss definitely didn't help matters. Adding injury to insult. First, you make clear you know you're better than the competition. Then you straight up prove it when the bell rings. I'm sure they feel mighty big right about now. As they should. They're getting their arm raised after all, Saxton. All right, now here's a man we can trust as a referee. I think he'll do us all proud. Is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Mankind. Oh, great. What genius backstage let this maniac enforce the rules. Hey, Corey, we've actually seen Mankind as a referee on multiple occasions, and he never plays favorites. For all of his eccentricities, Mankind wants things to be fair and balanced. Matter of fact, I heard him say to the competitors backstage, have a nice match. Well, the great one has arrived. It's check-in time at the SmackDown Hotel. And the participants, first representing The Rock and Suck Connection from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Rock! Yeah, I can't even imagine living The Rock's life. Can you guys believe The Rock wouldn't even let me try on his $500 shirt? Of course I can believe it, because your bank account's about 499 bucks short. The Rock has already reached the mountaintop in such an uh, electrifying amount of time. Guess see what I did there? The game has arrived. The Cerebral Assassin, ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And his opponent, representing Evolution from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone take him down. Well, he's facing one of the most dominant competitors of the Attitude Era, The Rock. Any era for that matter, Cole.
And as this match begins, the confidence these superstars have in our guest referee is shaky at best. They can't be too confident over who is the official here. Whatever alliances hold true in the locker room must stay in the locker room. We'll see if our official will keep that in mind. Yeah, it's still a match about beating your opponent, and our competitors need to remember that. Inverted suplex. Oh, my gosh. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Placing them into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. The Rock is going to take charge and show why he is the Brahma Bull. But with Triple H as your opponent, you can't afford to make a mistake. Corey, how does the great one combat against the game? The Rock can bring the pain with the best of them, especially when it comes to throwing thunderous right hands. But Triple H is a student of the game and a superior ring technician. If Rock makes a mistake, Triple H will make him pay dearly. And The Rock is looking to do what he does best. Lay the smack it down. Alley-oop! Cover. Shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up instantly. Calling things right down the middle with that count. Well, you certainly can't complain about the officiating on that pin count. Had that move from The Rock scouted. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh! Headlock. Oh, and a cheap shot right above the eye. That there was enough to shake even the Rock's confidence. Uh oh. I'm not afraid of Tigers. Tiger suplex. Right across the back of the neck. Oh, stomping away. It's demoralizing to see the Rock in trouble here. The Rock is not looking good here. Triple H plants him with us. He thinks he has it. Nice work fighting off the pin attempt. Our designated official being as fair and square as one can be with that count. Looks like our guest ref is getting heated. Double leg takedown on their opponent. Trying to step through. Deathlock. Look at the torque. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, it, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it. Fight it. And just look at the referee. Now, he's trying to push himself up, and that'll cause a break. I can't imagine how far they're willing to take this. Every week we've seen this escalate, and it's only a matter of time before it blows up. Let's just hope we're not in the blast radius, guys. Ducked in cover. Such devastating offense from the game. Triple H tearing the rock apart piece by piece. Gets him with the counter. He's finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Could be the... Here it comes. Shot! Picture perfect from The Rock. Shoulder up before the count. And give it to the referee. That was a standard pin count for sure. The Rock reformulating. Triple H looking to end this match. Can that finish The Rock off? And our referee watched that one closely. You can tell the ref has set his feelings aside with a count like that. He got whipped into that corner. The ref trying to bring something to their attention. Yeah. Hung out to dry. I gotta say, our referee has been displaying an expert knowledge of the officiating handbook. Yeah, but doing so good, we might be seeing the start of a new career. The Rock telling him what he said his whole career. Just bring it. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Off the barricade! Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. And he slides him back to the mat. Triple H grabbing a weapon he knows all too well. The dreaded sledgehammer. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, what a power. 
power slam. You can't take much more of this. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Yeah, the Brahma Bull has been taken by the horn. I wish someone would put you out the pasture. The Rock with a great counter. Thrown back in under the ropes. Setting up. to the neck. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, man. Right to the end. He can end it here. He's got him. He wasted no time kicking out there. And the referee counted that right. I don't think that can be disputed. You can't accuse our guest referee of going into business for himself after that fair count. Uh-oh. Captured. Driven into the knee. Disrupts the attack with an elbow straight to the mouth. Triple H and the Rock are locked in a colossal standstill. We might just be one rock bottom or one pedigree from finding out our winner. Bam! Suplex! They're lining up their opponent. What do they have in mind? Oh! Knee drop. Woo. Sent into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oh, impressive counter. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top, bro. Triple H has him set up! Pedigree! Triple H has this all sewn up. Cover! Triple H looked impressive tonight. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, Triple H. Oh, oh look us. at this. Turn Come behind. On. Celebration has just been cut short. The thing about being champion is there's always a target on your back. With a gill, oh, man. Laid out with his own championship. Despicable.